Okay, hi guys, it's Ken Appleby here. Um, I discovered about a month ago and haven't started using it until just recently, something called Google Website Optimizer. Uh, it's pretty awesome stuff. Um, if you know about the value of split testing, whether it's like A-B split testing or multivariate split testing, you know that uh, not only is it very valuable, but uh, a lot of times you gotta pay you know, to get um, a good service. I mean, I searched around for a while and I found like some cheesy ones that would, you know, insert, you know, um, advertisements for their site and other stuff like that. And I just don't want all that. I just want simple, you know, AB and multivariate split testing that I can control that is going to give me lots of good data and analytics and whatever. And so I was like, oh crap, I saw this a month ago, two months ago or whatever it was. Actually, it's probably even longer back. Anyway, so I'm going to go over this website optimizer for you today. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's probably going to be a two-part video. Um, I'm going to show you how to get everything set up um, and I'm going to show you an example, okay? So we have, uh, I'm going to start with my runwithcash.com site. This is the one I'm using right now. This is the, um, the site that I'm split testing. So you can see right up here, it says runwithcash.com slash index two, because I also have, um, because I'm doing a simple A-B split test. Um, so there's index and index two. Um, so it's just two different pages, two different variations, and that's it. And actually the only difference in the variation is right now is just a simple underlining of this like header title that's it um excuse me i'm up i'm gonna set up a multivariate and do a whole bunch of different stuff but anyway this that's what the site looks like if you uh you know if if i go again i might be able to pull it up with uh index one yeah oh well anyway it's supposed to randomize so here we go i'm going to show you what to do here so you're going to go to uh google.com slash website optimizer okay and hopefully you have a Google account this is my email address if you ever need to get a hold of me and I welcome that okay so you can see that I have one experiment you know underline of the right attitude it's just a simple AB I'm gonna set up another one I'll show you I'll set it the same thing up again so you can see what we're doing with a simple um, AB Okay, now I guess I should um, go over the summary very quickly, um, just in case there's anyone who, you know, doesn't have much experience with this or doesn't really know what split testing is. The idea is that you have a landing page, right? Um, where, you, where you're going to change the value of some things. You're going to change the layout. You're going to change, you know, the font type or the color or um, just whatever. You're going to change multiple different things. And when you do that, say you were to get 100, you know, uh, visitors a day, um, you know, when you have, you know, a certain version, it's going to get a certain um, conversion rate, okay? Now, um, now, if you vary it, okay, you might get, let's look at this, you might get a different, um, okay, you can see here with my original version, I got um, one conversion for two visitors, and with my variation one, I got two conversions with seven, so my um, overall ratio, my overall conversions is 33%, but this one so far is collect is um, converting better. So you always want, the concept is, is that you always want to play around with the format and the layout and whatnot, uh, the copy and the video. Uh, you always want to play around with your landing page um, until you get it to convert as much as possible. You could, you could take, theoretically, you could take a landing page that had a conversion rate of like, say, seven or eight percent or even three or two percent. You could double it, triple it, quadruple it, and more, you know, it's, it's, it's really, you know, it's, it's a totally applicable concept. So, you know, if you're not familiar with it, look into it. So that's my little spiel on that. Okay. So, <clears throat> so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to, uh, you know, do an AB. I'm going to show you an AB here. So let's, what you do is you go to, um, create, where did it, did it bring me right in here? Yeah. So create another, create an experiment. Okay. A, B experiment is the simplest way to start testing, so that's what we're going to do. You're going to choose a page you like, get an alternative version, and then identify what page is the conversion page. So say you have a sign-up page like MyRunWithCash.com. When people go and fill out that form and they press Get More Info, then they get to a conversion page where I tell them to opt in, my, to, to double opt in to um, confirm their subscription to my list. And I do a video on that. So what I do is I put a little piece of code on that site that says, hey, 
um, that, that uses the tracking, um, you know, JavaScript code or whatever they use to, um, to identify that it's gone through and converted so then they can measure it, okay? So now that I've said, okay, I'm going to do all those things, you um, go ahead and do that. If you need now, let me just let me know if you need some help. I have a neat little um, HTML, um, what do you call this, editor, and uh, called um, Composer. I think it used to be called NVU or something. Anyway, I use that. Um, if you need help creating videos or whatever else, just let me know. Contact me. My email is in this uh, video, and it's all over the place. So you're going to say create. So you're going to say... Um, Okay, so the original page URL, this is where you got to put it in. Now, you know, you should have gone ahead, you have to go ahead and take, get your web page uploaded to your, your hosting company. Uh, I use GoDaddy right now. They're okay. Um, so this is where it's at. Okay, that's the main and the variation is actually let's just do this. I think it'll work. Ash.com slash index two. So what I did was I loaded the index file and the index two file both in the root directory of runwithcache.com. Okay. If you need help, let me know. So then you're going to identify your conversion page, right? So that one is this slash. It's called a uh, confirm. Okay, and they find the page so everything's cool with that. Then you say continue. <clears throat> so now what they're going to do is give you the JavaScript that will um, <clears throat> do the tracking for you. Okay, <clears throat> so you can tell it, you know, your web team will do it or you're going to do it yourself. Well, you're going to do it in yourself. That's why you're here watching this video. So. Okay, what we're going to do is. Okay, so this is what you do. They're talking about the original page, okay? So you gotta put a piece of script into the um, original page. So it says, put the control script at the very beginning, and then if you click on this little link here, this little icon, it'll show you what they mean, where exactly you gotta put it in the code. So you can see here that this code they want, the control script, this orange stuff, is above the first HTML tag. Okay, so you gotta make sure that it's in that same position, otherwise it won't work properly. So you can copy from here or you can copy from the page we were just on. It doesn't matter. Okay. So then what you're going to do is you're going to go into your, go into your, excuse me. You're going to go into your page. Okay. I got it uh, over here. So you're going to go into your page. You can open it with your editor or with, you know, whatever else. No, that won't work. Word paddle do it pretty good. Just for simplicity here in this. Okay, so you can see what they were saying. Find the they were saying before the HTML tag, right? So I must have missed it. Where did it go? There it is. HTML. See, okay. So here is the HTML tag here, right? it actually goes to here. See this arrow? That's where the tag ends, okay? And these are just parameters inside the tag. So what we have to do is put it all where this stuff is here, which I already did, so that's fine. So you'll just control, you'll just put your cursor right there, you'll control V and you'll put it in, okay? And then they're asking for over here, the tracking script that goes down at the bottom, and that goes just before they close the body tag, okay? So you grab that, control C it, you go in here, and just before the body tag is closed, see the body tag closes right here. You can see that I already entered. You can see that I already entered it in here. Okay, with with another some Google thing. Okay, so it's already in and everything's good. So then you'll save that. Okay, and. Okay, and then you, what you'll do is you'll upload it to your site, okay? Now, if you need help with that, um, I think I have covered that in other videos in YouTube, but if you need help, let me know. Um, I'm going to cut the video off 